everyone. Welcome back to Twisted Barbell. My name is Marcus. I appreciate you joining me for this video today. There are many barbells out there for different functions and lifts. So today I want to talk about one in particular. This is a basic Olympic barbell. What makes this barbell different from say a power bar? Well, a few things. The diameter, the tensile strength, and the type of knurling and even the knurling rings that are exposed here make a difference between this and a power bar or a deadlift bar, for example. Today I want to talk about this one, which is an Xmark crowbar. This one I've had from the beginning of setting up my gym. This is one of the first purchases I made, and I was trying to set up my gym on a budget. You know how that goes. You start out with a budget in mind. That all goes out the window pretty quickly when you start amassing different items for the gym. Well, I was pretty good with sticking to budget with this particular bar because I think this ran me about $225. The sleeves are 16 and a quarter inch loadable area. They use bushings and they spin pretty well. But as I said, this is an Olympic barbell, so you see these double neural rings here. It does have center neural also, and this does help to a degree with my squats, but the knurling is really somewhat passive. At some point, I will obtain a power bar for a little bit more of a gnarly neural, and this one has sufficed, and it's going on a year now, actually. This is one of the first things I received when I set up my gym last summer, and it has treated me pretty well so far. You don't have to spend a huge amount of money on a barbell, to get the basic function of using a barbell to do certain exercises and get your workouts going. Now I use this for squat, I use this for bench press, I use this for pendulum rows, a variety of different things. I even put this in my landmine attachment. Obviously a lot of people know that landmine attachments can be a little bit tough on your barbell ends and my landmine attachment is no exception to that. But that's one of the nice things about going with a budget bar something that costs about $200. When you attach it to a landmine attachment, you don't really have to worry about it damaging the bar, or if it does, it's not as painful an experience because you're not damaging a 400 or 500 or even more expensive barbell, putting it into a landmine attachment that has some rough edges or roughness on the inside. So that's one of the benefits to an inexpensive bar like this. I won't say cheap because I really don't think this is a cheap bar, cheap in terms of quality. This bar has held up very well. I have had not one problem with it. It's functioned the way it's supposed to. I mean, how does a barbell misfunction? I don't know, but uh, the sleeves still rotate nicely. It's still balanced. There is center knurling, but not knurling all the way through. Makes it good if you want to use this for like deadlifts or something else where you're dragging this up against your shins. The black manganese phosphate coating has held up very well. Uh, I see no blemishes on it at all. The hard chrome sleeves have also held up well, and I've been in the habit of putting one side in the landmine attachment for the most part, so I'm not potentially scratching up both sides. But the scratches that are on the hard chrome sleeve that go in the landmine attachment are very fine. I actually expected it to be much worse for wear, being that it goes in the landmine attachment, and I'm surprised at how durable the hard chrome has been with this barbell. It has center knurling, which helps with the squat, even though this is a more of a passive knurling, so it doesn't really get a huge grip on your back. However, it's enough to actually prevent you from sliding the bar if you feel like you've gotten under it and you're not dead center. The specs are 185,000 PSI tensile strength, 16 and a quarter inch loadable sleeves, seven feet overall barbell, minimal whip for the length, but on some of my squat videos, you will see as I'm coming up from the squat with a decent amount of weight, you can see the whip on the bar as the weight bounces once I get to lockout but that's not like it interferes with anything. This is great for benching. It's great for pendulum rows. It's great in the landmine attachment. I've really had no problems with this bar whatsoever and I have nothing but good things to say about it. So if you're looking for a budget barbell, this is a nice one to consider, of course. I was happy with the color and I gotta say, I'm pretty happy. I wanted to make this video simply to say that this is an inexpensive bar. No matter what your programming is, this bar will suffice for the most part. And that's the thing about an Olympic barbell. It's kind of the jack of all trades where it suffices for squats, benches, deadlifts, what have you. But at a minimal cost, being relatively inexpensive at $225, I think this is a pretty good deal. And I just wanted to share my experience with this bar. I think it looks great. It's held up great. You know, the knurling could be a little bit more aggressive. So if that's something you like, I want you to be aware of that. This is not gonna really grip into your palms but that can be a benefit at times. This is not a specialty bar, it's just a basic barbell. As the title and description state, a basic barbell and functions in multiple capacities in your home gym. Definitely something worth considering. Corrosion protection with black manganese phosphate and hard chrome sleeves has done wonders in my basement environment. All right, so that's pretty much it for a basic, dull Olympic barbell. If you're looking to set up a home gym on the cheap, this is something to consider. Not cheap in terms of quality, but cheap in terms of price. 
at a low price point of 225 American dollars. I think this thing is a pretty good bargain. And the fact that it's a jack of all trades helps this bar work into a home gym setup to do a variety of different exercises. So here in the US, it's the 4th of July, which is Independence Day holiday for us. And we actually have newfound reason to celebrate our independence now that the pandemic is winding down. So I hope those of you here in the US are enjoying. I hope you have a safe and happy holiday. Squat, bench, deadlift, whatever you do, keep at it. I appreciate your time and support and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.